Yeah, more cores from the needle site. These are what passes for conical cores. They have a domed appearance with very little work on the bottom platform. This one, a flake came up at this angle and took off the top of the core. Yeah, where there are conical cores, there can be core tablets. These are some pieces I found that might be core tablets. That's a multi-directional core. Removal's coming in here. Removal's coming up from here.
another multi-directional core. Blade removal's coming up. Across. Almost like the tip off a wedge-shaped core. This core has a nearly round cross section. Removal's coming in this direction. A battered platform. This core has removals coming from a battered flat platform here. <clears throat> There's a lot of tabular flint found at the needle site. Some of it's in the form of icicle-like pieces with platforms on either end. This piece has a blade removal in this direction and a blade removal in that direction. We're also finding unique to the site bifacial discoidal cores, they could be called. They're characterized by overshots. This piece has an overshot running along here on that face. Flaked across this axis on here. This one has an overshot in this direction. An overshot in this direction. Whether or not these are cores, I'll leave to your judgment. You decide for yourself. overshot here. The overshot here. Overshot on this face. The overshot there. Now, 
And North America is the world capital of the biface, both in variety and quantity. Other outside of Clovis, the core blade technology has rarely been studied. You know, if you're searching near a flint outcrops, you may find cores. This is a wedge-shaped core. It's not from the needle site. It's from a satellite site to needle. It has some of the same artifacts. And blade removals from around the circumference. The site where I found this is multi-component. We have one base of a Clovis or Ganey point from there. Artifacts from all time periods that can be found in Ohio. Also out west there's bifacial cores associated with the Clovis culture. This piece is from the same site is the last conical core. It's five inches long. It resembles some Clovis material from out west. See the battered edge here? That's not a result of farm equipment. Then, one other core. This is from a site where I found two fluted point fragments. And it's like a micro core made on a piece of tabular flint. The removals are all in one direction, starting at this edge. It's the cortex of the tabular flint. There's cortex here also. Well, it's a variety of cores. Thank you for watching.